Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see the different kind of awesome videos I make for the data science. So uh, today's topic is all about the in max and mean in Python and Julia both. So in this video, I'm going to show you how these three functions work in Python and also in Julia so that you'll have a both understanding of Python and Julia and it is going to you're going to rock on those two languages together so let's further do let's get started of today's video so first of all what is the in max and min function so in is basically is going to show you if something is there in the array or not true or false that is what it is going to provide you max is definitely is going to give you uh, the maximum of the array if it is in the numeric form the numbers are in the numeric and the mean is definitely opposite of that so it's going to give you the minimum of the array okay it could be array it could be tuples it could be uh, anything that is have the form of something like this the array or something okay so first i'm going to show you how the in works so here you can see that i have a array a that consists of the names sam charles and mike so if i want to see if this sam name is present in this particular area or not so in that case i will use the same in a in i'm going to use and it's going to tell you if it is present over there or not okay so uh, if i just run this cell you will understand this okay so you can see this so it is showing true so because this particular name is belongs to a so that is why it is showing true over here okay so suppose i'm giving some other name like shomo if i give this name it is not present in the array you can see that so if i just run this cell it is going to show you the false because it is not present over there so that is the objective of this particular function in okay when i change to the sam and run it, it is going to true okay so same is going to be there in the julia also so if i go to the julia notebook you can see that if I just run this cell, it is going to give you the true. So the same thing, the same uh, method is also there in Julia. So you know both together. So now it, I'm going to show you the mean and max in Julia. So you can see that there is an array 1, 2, 3, or 5. And you know that the maximum is uh, 5 and the minimum is 1. So if I just run this cell, you can see that uh, 5 and 1 because I have given the print ln together so that is what is showing like this but if I just use the different cell you can see this so if I just cut this one paste it over there and print it you can see that you can see this 5 and 1 so max is basically the 5 min is basically 1 so only the differences in Julia may maximum is written as maximum in all the full form minimum also in minimum but in uh, Python if I go in Python notebook so here it is there as a max and mean only so that is the only difference okay so I hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see the different kind of videos I make I'll give the link of those notebooks in the description of the video rock Thank you. I'll see you soon.